Hey YouTube, Jolly Green here. I haven't skated in just a little bit. I mean actually probably about a week ago, but I almost stubbed my ring toe off of my left foot, which is my leading foot. So I was not able to skate that on that for about two weeks. Uh, I didn't break my toe. It looks like I might lose my toe now. I'm not sure about yet that yet. But we'll see but i can skate again um so i'm going to do some transition skating in my half wipe this is my 12 foot half wipe that i built all by myself no help whatsoever in stages if you don't think this is possible it is possible i did it but i have a new addition to it and you can see it right over here it needs uh, a little bit of work but it's perfectly skatable now so let's give you the tour so here is the higher side of my 12 foot little launch ramp my rail which i need to knock the rust off and put some wax on there's the bank ramp there is the pole jam Here's the steeper but shorter side of the half pipe. Here's the bowl that I just put in. It looks a little rough, but it skates just fine. And then here is the channel gap and where you can come in off the levee to launch when I put the equipment up to be able to do that. All right. So anyway, in addition to that, I also need to drop in from there. So hopefully I'll do that today. I haven't done it yet, even though this has been, it's been over a year since I built this. So it's a long past time that I dropped in on this. You know, it's not, it's fairly high, but I've dropped in on things much higher than this, at least a foot and a half higher than this for sure so i don't know what's holding me up and it's pretty mellow too i guess the fact that i made it in a slightly a little lumpy not too bad i mean I, it doesn't affect me when i'm going up and down it so i know when i drop in it's not going to have an effect but it's just i haven't done it yet so maybe i can build up my courage and do that today i need to do that I need to get it out of the way so let's make that a goal but anyway I've got my impact shorts on today and I'll probably put some knee pads on and try to do some things I haven't done in a while. Um, you know, on this ramp, I would love to get into a front side grind and then drop back in on this ramp, but I don't think I'm going to do that. It's just so scary, but I would love to have that, but that's like my super goal. The regular goal is just to drop in on this. So anyway, let me get warmed up and then we'll see what I can do. Warm up.
all right so a couple of rock to bakies after going around the bowl section let's get some more so I guess the time has come as you can see probably from the sweat on my brow which I've cooled down some for about 20 minutes before and it's really hot out here it's getting hotter I think it's getting to 106 today um, it's in the afternoon so it's starting to heat up it hit me a little harder than I figured it would because I'm not used to skating in the heat because it was a pretty cool summer but this isn't cool anyway so it's going to do some other stuff, but I really need to get to what the purpose of today was, which I told you was to drop in on my largest quarter pipe, which I have not dropped in on and I've had it uh, like that for over a year, probably close to two years, I would imagine. So I haven't done it yet. Time to go ahead and get over it. So today I'm either going to drop in and be successful and be happy about it and be over with it and be able to do it again whenever I feel like it, if it's comfortable enough, which I'm sure it will be, or I will eat crap and not have to worry about trying to do it again because it'll freak me out so much that I won't want to do it again. Or I'll eat crap and eventually try it again later. Those are the three possibilities. but. Anyway, I'm doing something today. So first I'm gonna drop in on the little one. Actually the corner, the little, then the big, and then I'll go drop in on it. So let me get in, let me put my helmet on and get some drop-ins in and then get to it. So I'll talk to you after I'm done.
Oh. <laughs> I know it doesn't seem like that big a deal, but I've been not doing it for so long. That was too easy. Let's do it again. Three, go. All right. I guess let's get the no comply. Hey, all right, YouTube. I guess this is a wrap. It probably wasn't a long episode. I won't know till I edit it, but I didn't do too much skating because it was hot. But what I did do, I was proud of. And plus, I was able to drop in finally on everything that I've built. And it was pretty easy. I was able to get a trick off the slam box on it. So that means it was actually useful. Now, it's sort of difficult to get up there to drop in. So maybe I need to make things easier for myself to get up there because uh, that's the most dangerous part is trying to balance and get up there to get in position to drop in. Once I was there, it was an easy drop in. So I was excited as soon as I did it, as you probably know, because I ran right back up. But um, yeah. Uh, proud of myself. I mean, that's not the highest I've dropped in, but um, that's the highest do it yourself that I've dropped in on, right? Anyway, that was that's five foot and it's a considerable amount to drop in on, so um, for something homemade. So I'm happy about it. Anyway, sorry I haven't been putting videos out. I'm back doing things in my profession. I didn't do too much this summer um because i was working on renovating my house actually but i'm thinking about doing some other things in the future more skating of course and expanding uh expanding what i'm doing just a little bit so we'll see if i have the time but anyway thanks for sticking around if you aren't subscribed make sure you do subscribe that helps me out even if you don't end up watching my videos it helps me out in the eyes of youtube so if you enjoyed it just a little bit hit that subscribe button as a favor to me anyway if you are keeping up with me then i will see you next time anyway have a great day youtube